So what kind of role are you hoping to fulfill here in Denver? Um, anything, honestly. Um, wherever coach sees me playing and fitting in, I want to get out there and do a full speed teams and defense. How do you, what kind of relationship did you have with George before this? And did it help that he brings you here so much as a spot for you? Uh, the relationship we developed my first four years in, in Minnesota was just, he saw me come up seventh round pick and do exactly what I just said. However, I can get in on the defense, special teams, get in there. So he knows my work ethic. He knows um, I like to grind and um, I like to compete. So that really helped in bringing me here. What was your reaction when you got traded? Um, good. Um, I'm always for new opportunities. Um, and it was just, I was really excited because that meant I was going to go somewhere and, and have another shot to prove that I can do what it takes to play in this league. Someone over here. Um, a lot, because um, I spent a long time behind D uh, and Griff, and now coming here and seeing another elite pass rusher uh, who's gifted in a whole other arena to see how he moves, how he looks at offensive tackles, how he breaks down film. Uh, luckily, there was a spot in the o OLB room right next to him, so I snagged that one. Um, so I just want to be a sponge. Teddy was injured a lot early in your career in Minnesota, mm -hmm. but what just was your impression of being around him? and? Um, you know, what, what was it like to know that you're coming back to play with him again? Uh, uh, he's a competitor, first and foremost. Uh, he'll do what it takes to, to get the job done, um, and he likes to lay it on the line for his brothers. And so I'll always play for a guy like that. So in Minnesota, seeing, it, seeing him go through that and then come back uh, when everyone said he couldn't, and then in Carolina to see him play and start how he did and to go through, <laughs> go through that with them. And then uh, to be here, I, I know the kind of quarterback he is. Uh, well, we played against them in preseason, right? And so uh, to see them then, and uh, they hit us a couple of big times in practice with those big plays, so I knew they had big playability. I knew the defense was, was solid. So uh, to see them get started uh, so hot uh, was expected from what I saw in training camp. For Broncos fans who haven't seen you play or aren't familiar with you, what, do you, what could you say you bring to the pass rush? Just describe your tangible and intangible. Um, I would say physical. I love uh, putting my hands on people. Um, in the run game, in the pass game, uh, same thing. Uh, move tackles backwards and then work off at the end. Uh, compress the pocket, work together with my, with my dudes on the inside. Shamar, who I play with, he knows how I pass rush. We read off of each other really well. Um, end of the day, it's about building that kind of chemistry with everyone else and to see that, oh, okay, he'll, he'll come in and he'll, he'll thump. So I want the guys to, to know that about me as we come out here and practice. Benji was just talking about how when you come in here to a team kind of midstream, Yeah, <laughs> uh, for sure. Uh, coach Pagano sat me down day one after he shook my hand. I was, all right, let's go through this film. And I was like, all right, coach. And so I grabbed a notebook and tried to write down as much as possible. Um, Andre Mintz played at Vanderbilt. I got on the phone with him, outside linebacker, so he can try to coach me up, give me some pointers that he used to try to learn the playbook. Uh, but it's definitely between the ears at this point. Think you're going to be comfortable enough to play defensively on sun Sunday, just knowing how kind of you're going up the learning curve here? Um, well, wow, that's, that's what this whole week of practice is for. I need to go out there and first show the coaches that I have an understanding of the playbook. And then after that, it's a really important step to earn the trust of the guys on the field. If the other 10 guys don't trust you to be in your gap to do your assignment, then they're going to hesitate doing their job. So this whole week is about showing the coaches that I understand it and proving to my brothers that I can go out there and, and you don't have to worry about me if I, my number's called on. Thanks, Thanks. <laughs>